Hey guys, welcome back. Well, it's time for a subscriber request video today, and today we're going to be modeling a hose block in Maya. Intro. Okay guys, let's get started. We're going to take a uh, polygon cylinder and we're going to hit R and we're going to scale that up. Push that down to about this and then we're going to stretch it out to make it somewhat oval. Right Now, once we have that done, what we're going to do is go to insert edge loop, option box, set that to multiple and two and we're going to go in and set two of them right there. Okay. We're going to hit R to uh, pull them up a little bit, Q to get out of that, object mode 3 to preview smooth, looks okay. So we're going to go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth it. And just to make sure we don't have any end gons, and we'll actually smooth this one level up. This doesn't have to be low poly. What we can do is go to mesh and clean up to make sure that we have no issues and hit clean up. There we go. Now I'm going to hit E to rotate this guy, hold down uh, J as I do that to set it upright. And I want three of these guys. So I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate, W to move over. Actually, I'm not happy with the thickness just yet. So I'm going to hit R and let's give this some body, okay? Control D to duplicate, W to move over, and then Shift to D. So we've got three of them, okay? Cool. All right. So we need some kind of a pulley system in the middle. Uh, so for that, we'll take a uh, polygon cylinder once again. We'll pull that out. E to rotate, hold on J, like this. We're gonna go to um, into the edge loop again, and this should still be at two. And there you go. Hit R to scale that out to the end. Have to zoom in. I'm going to right click at a face and we're going to select these and hit control E and then we're going to extrude from one, maybe a bit much. 0 0.4 is probably better. Yeah. And then we're going to go to object mode and hit three to preview smooth and have a look. Now this looks uh, pretty good. Uh, we're going to want to go back. I'm going to go to into the edge loop again and this time I'm going to do it manually and go in and set one here at the edge and one over there. Q on the keyboard, object mode, mesh and smooth, subdivision level 2. Okay, now let's make this uh, fit. So we're going to select it and we're going to hit R to scale it up and let's have a look from this side here. If we were to move that in here, we need to scale it down a bit to about there. And then I want one at each end, so I'm going to bring that in. The W, move that in like so. Have a look. Four for wireframe mode. And let's see. We'll uh, hit R and scale that in. And if I'm feeling that these are becoming too sharp, I can make the distance between the wooden sections larger, but this is okay. Control D to duplicate, W to move over, and that should be a perfect fit. And there you go. So that's what we have so far. Now, of course, we need something that's gonna be like some sort of pin going through to hold them in place. Now we're not going to see the pin, so we don't actually have to do that, but we need to create something. So I'm going to go and create a cube and we're going to do that. We're going to push it in and then let's see what we'll do here is we'll go to face, control E to extrude, R to scale in, W to pull out. And then we'll go to, uh, let's see, edges and we'll take those outer edges and go to edit mesh and bevel kind of looks cool 
We're gonna W, we're gonna bring that in. And let's make this a bit smaller. And maybe even slightly rotate it, just for, the f for fun. Let's see what this thing looks like if we smooth it. That's not gonna work, okay. Um, not giving up on that just yet. Let's go back, back, control Z, control Z. There we go. Uh, we're gonna use this a couple of times. So I'm gonna move this up here. Hit R to scale it down. W to bring it in. I have to zoom in. So that looks okay. And let's see, what we'll do is we'll move it over. Control D to duplicate, W to move it over like so. Select them both, go to modify center pivot. Come on. Mesh combine, yeah, there we go. Let's have a look from this view. And we're gonna hold down a V. So we know it's nice and centered. And I got a reason for that, and I'll explain later. And then we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, and we're gonna bring that down here. Okay. We're gonna select all of them. We're gonna go to uh, Mesh and uh, Combine. Control D to duplicate, E to rotate. You hold down the J until you have done that. Hit W and uh, bring it over to this end, and hit F to zoom in. Alrighty, so now that we have that, uh, let's focus on what we were actually doing, which was, um, and actually I'll do it different this time. Uh, let's see, not with that. We'll do a sphere instead, okay? We'll uh, pull that out. We'll hit R to scale that up. We'll hit uh, Control A to open up the attribute editor, go in and set this to five by five. Yep. E to rotate, hold on J. There you go. We're gonna select it, right click on a face, drag select all these faces and get rid of them. Take this guy, W to move in, modify center pivot, R to scale down. And that's much better. All right, now that we have that, we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate that again, E to rotate and flip it around, W to move it over to that end. And let's uh, bring that in, uh, there you go. Now, <clears throat> that's that, now we need something for the top here. So for that, what we'll do is we'll take a uh, polygon cube, pull that up, R to scale it up, pull it out, and look at this view right here. And what we basically want is something that will allow us to have some control on the top here. And what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm gonna take this control G to group it, go to modify and center pivot, I'll hold down X and snap it to the center of the grid, which is a bit easier, okay? And then we'll uh, move this guy over here. And then we can hit R, we can scale it out slightly Make it thinner first. All right, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna go to enter the edge loop again. We'll set that to multiple and two once again. And let's do that. Let's hit R to stretch them out to that end right there. Q on the keyboard. I'm going to go to vertex, drag like these and these. Hit R and flare that out just a little bit. And then we're going to go in 
then we're going to right click get a face, it's like one and two. Control E to extrude and W to pull down. That works out quite well. Let's see. Three to preview smooth. Yeah, we're going to work on that. That's fine. So what we're going to do next is we are going to go in and right click at an edge. Looks like I got all of them. And let's go to edit mesh and the bevel. Tweak that fraction a bit. Looks like I got a little bit of an issue on the corner there because of this. Edit mesh and bevel once again. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, we're going to go in and we're going to go to insert edge loop, which I believe is still at two. Yeah, let's make that five and let's go in. And a Q on our keyboard. So I'm going to go in in this view. I'm going to right click at a vertex, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to drag these sets here hit W bring that up and hit that middle set and bring that up again okay let's have a look here if I set this to 3 to preview smooth it looks okay for the most part it wanted to go back and not 100% satisfied just yet so what I'm going to do is go back in and set this to single actually let's not do that let's take this face here that one and that one control e minus 0 0.01 that should be enough to hold that shape okay we're going to go to mesh and smooth. So there we go. That looks uh, okay. I think so. And then what we're going to do is we are going to actually smooth this again. Looks a bit better. Yeah. So now let's uh, create a hook for this guy. Uh, so what we're going to do there, uh, and that is. Uh, kind of tricky but we'll try it anyway is we're going to go to our top view i'm going to drag select this hit h and i'm going to go to uh, create and curve tools uh, cv curve tool and we'll do something like uh, this Alright, so now that we have that, let's take a, a polygon cube, let's hit W, move it towards this guy, hit R to scale it up a little bit, maybe a bit less, right click face, drag select all the ones we don't need, and then we're going to take this guy, hit W and bring it in a little bit, and get it at a correct angle. So we're going to go to object mode, modify and center pivot, hit E to rotate it and try to get it close to an angle of 90 degrees to our curve here. Okay. 
So then we're going to go in, we're going to select face and shift select our curve, control E to extrude. We're going to increase the divisions, not face together, the divisions, yeah. And as we do that, let's see, we're starting to get a good shape here. And we'll go in and set this to, let's say, 200. Well, not maybe 200, but let's see how far we can go. 50, 70, 70 is better, okay? Then, uh, let's see what else we got. We can taper this if we like, and that's kind of what we want. So we're going to go up like so. And we're going to go to object mode, and let's hope this works out. I'm going to go to edit, delete by type history, so I can get rid of that curve. And there we go. And then we're going to go in and we're going to hit 3 to smooth this guy. Now it looks... Um, I don't know, we're going to add some edge loops. It looks a little bit too smooth, right? So we'll do a uh, single and then we'll just uh, put them in manually. Let's try that again. Looks a little bit better, okay? So we're going to go to mesh and uh, smooth to actually smooth this. And I'm going to go to display and show all. We're going to take this guy, E to rotate, hold on J set it upwards we're going to rotate it again in that direction and then we need to bring it to scale so let's do that let's uh, change the orientation of that so we're going to double click on this guy and we're going to go to world orientation which will allow us to bring that in and bring that up and let's have a look from a couple angles okay so we're gonna hold down X and center it here then we're gonna jump to this view and we're gonna bring it in have to zoom in okay and uh, let's see we need to move that pivot point so we're gonna hit the insert key and we're basically going to put it right here. So now we can hit the insert key again. We can hit E and we can rotate that hook until it looks like it's perfectly where it should be. Now, to be completely honest, I'm not sure what looks better, where um, the small section of the hook is down here or on the other end. Okay, so let's have a go with that. I'm going to go and uh, modify center pivot. E to rotate. Let's flip that around. I think that will look better. Uh, maybe we'll even have to scale it for that. But Okay, it seems to work just. So what we can do there is uh, scale it down a bit, W, move it down, have to zoom in, okay, we're starting to get there. Uh, one more thing I want to do, uh, I want to do some chain elements, okay? So for that, uh, we'll take a, a polygon, a torus, yep. Let's go in and set this to 12 by 12 subdivisions, 4 for wireframe mode, so I can see where it's at. That didn't work out very handy. So what we'll do is we'll just, uh, as before, hit H to hide these. Move it out of the way. Okay. Five. Uh, okay, what we're going to do is we are going to jump into our top view. Have to zoom in. 
Uh, let's see, what if I make this 13 by 13? Will that work out better for me? Just trying to get an angle here. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go to face, I'm gonna drag select, and I'm going to pull out like this. I want an even chain though, so let's see. Let's try this. Vertex selection, much better. Okay, so we got that. Um, I'm not quite sure if we can still uh, change that section radius, so we'll try. Yeah, we can, that's perfect. So now we have that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit uh, Control D to duplicate. We're gonna bring that over to here. E to rotate and hold down G A to snap it like so. And then we're gonna make sure we have a nice clean fit. And there you go. Now these should be uh, smooth. So we're gonna go to mesh and smooth like this. And then we've got these two created. We're gonna control D to duplicate. W to move, F to zoom in, like so. And then we're gonna hit Shift D, Shift D, Shift D a couple of times, right? Drag select the whole thing, go to Mesh and Combine, and we are going to hit E to rotate, hold down J to flip it up, W to move it up, and bring that in. First I'm going to go to display and show all to get everything back. And let's move that up. And let's see if that fits. So first I'm going to hold down X and snap it so I know it's centered. That seems to be just okay so I'm going to Scale it very, very slightly. And then we're going to hit W and we're going to bring it up. And I think that looks fine. Okay. Now, uh, if you like, what you can do is put an additional strap on the bottom here. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but you can. Uh, but yeah, I think this is pretty much it, guys. So. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.